Matt on Facebook is asking, wearing ties with a kilt, is there a particular knot to use? I use a half Windsor or a Windsor knot. Yeah, When same. I'm wearing a, a necktie with a kilt. The, it is a British looking thing. It is, you know, of the UK is a wider knot. Um, the dress shirts are almost as important as the type of knot. I will get a spread collar shirt. Um, think, uh, think what's the, 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 the mobster movie, um, from the 80 casino or whatever, when they have the, the Italian co- collars, uh, ah, darn what? it. What's the mobster Moody? Goodfellas? Goodfellas. Yeah, yeah. With Goodfellas. a ridiculous collar on top of the. Yes, I'm going the exact opposite okay, direction. Okay, from that. you're the extreme. Yes, okay. It's an Italian style, which is why they were in a mobster movie, of like basically like very, very skinny, like uh, amount of tie showing, and they were very long peaked things, and they were kind yeah, of parallel straight down. Bloody awful. Yes, it was from the 70s. Yeah. Um, don't do that. Do the opposite of that. Um, the, the British thing is like a very, very spread collar. So the collar actually comes way out on the side to expose yep. more of the knot. And that's why the Windsor knot or half Windsor as a wider knot will work better for you versus something that's like a, a skinnier knot, like the half knot. Yeah. Typical, you know, like how yeah. you learn to tie a like tie a three when you're a kid. Or whatever, yeah. 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 Um, basically, yeah. That's, uh, other than that, you don't really need to overthink it. But uh, consider how how far out the uh, the collar of your shirt is spreading, and then adjust accordingly. I think a Windsor is always a better option. Yeah, it's it's a good so. classic simple knot. I would say this for for my money, <clears throat> in Highland wear, generally less is more. And right. the more uh, I've seen uh, when I was learning how to tie a Windsor knot and learning other different knots to tie, I experimented with a bunch of different stuff. And there are some very, very elaborate YouTube videos on like crazy pinwheel knots, Especially all kinds now. of stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a thing. It's a hobby. Yes. So, and it's it's like it's the dandy thing. It's a cool, fun thing to differentiate yourself, like you know, different color socks with mm-hmm. your suit. Um, but I would say don't go too crazy on the necktie knot. Mm-hmm. A simpler, classic style knot is going to look better with a classic mode of dress, i.e., Highland wear, than right. something very, you know avant-garde and yeah. artsy. And, and the reason the artsy knots have become a, a fad right now is because a suit is a suit is a suit. They don't have what we have with the sporn and the kilt and everything yeah. being as attractive as it is. It's just like, it's a suit. How can I make the suit look interesting? Okay, well, I'll play with a tie. I'll play with a knot. That's that's the way it's always been. That's why tie fashions have changed. You know, print on ties have changed for years because of that, because the rest of the suit is boring. Um, so we don't have that problem. I will say one, one thing, one caveat would be if you're using a traditional wool tie, um, the material is a lot thicker. So you may find that the half Windsor is a better option for you just because of the thickness of the cloth as opposed to a silk tie, which you may be used to. Um, I've done a Windsor with the wool ties. You have too. Um, it takes a little more practice and, and the and the links I use are a little different because the, the cloth is so thick. And I've had a couple times where it's like, I'm done. It's like, <clears throat> giant knot. And it's like, okay, I better do this a little differently. <laughs> um, but uh, well, yeah, that'd uh, be my only caveat. I'd say this as a as an editing note. When we cut this up into a snip, let's include some links below for different YouTube videos on good YouTube videos on how to tie a Windsor knot, how to tie a half Windsor, those kind of things. So if anyone's watching this video later on after we cut it up, you get some cool links on where to tie stuff. You can do that. Yeah. You can do that. Very good.